All right, so we got this firework assortment here. It cost me like eight or 10 bucks, give or take. Um, anyway, it's called Cannon Fun Assortment by Cannon Brand Fireworks. Now, as you can see, see-through packaging. Um, we're gonna be unboxing this and then lighting off everything that comes inside of it. So uh, let's get it open and we'll see what we got here. So it looks like a cone fountain. Um, actually, no, this is not a cone. What is this? So, oh, this is a, <laughs> okay, this is a conic popper. Um, so you pull this string and it shoots confetti out of it. Interesting. Um, I think I've only done these one other time. It was the other day at the fire pit. So uh, you get two of these magnum poppers here. And uh, believe it or not, sometimes these things are louder than the uh, pull string party poppers. So anyway, these are always good fun. <laughs> Uh, we got a pack of 50, I think 50, yep, 50 pieces of snaps in here. Canon brand salutes to the 21st century. Pretty cool. Uh, these are real interesting looking because they kind of remind me of those Piccolo Peets. I'm sure you guys remember those from childhood. But this one's called Peacock Fountain. The performance right here, green pearls, and then this one is tricolor fountain. And you get multicolor stars in that. Uh, Kind of cool little guys. Then what is this thing here? So this is actually what I thought this was gonna be, sort of like a cone fountain. Um, so this one is violet and crimson fountain. As you can see, it's in the shape of a cone. Uh, it's kind of breaking here at the bottom and in the middle, but I don't think that'll affect the performance at all. Maybe it'll blow up, that'd be kind of fun. Then we've got the tank fireworks, pretty standard. Um, I think there's a guy on YouTube that made like a life-size one of these. It was freaking awesome, man. If I can find the video, I'll put it, <laughs> I'll put the link to that in the description. Here's Golden Flowers Fountain, uh, kind of like your friendship fountains. They go by every name in the book, and they're all box fountains. This one here is called Cuckoo, so definitely going to get some loud whistles in that. Um, a lot of these assortments that I get always come with a Cuckoo Fountain or something that whistles. So then we've got flashing signals. These are like your little strobe pots, and if you guys don't know what those look like, I'll show you. They look like little cherry bombs. Um, like they really do look like a mini cherry bomb. But you'll be really disappointed if you buy these thinking they're cherry bombs. Then we've got another pack of the Mega Snaps, and this is so weird. Like, I don't know why they, they box them up in different size boxes, but they're the same size pop it. I'll open it up and show you. This happened with the other assortment we did. Um, so you see they look like that. And these are the Mega Snaps. And then we've got just the regular Canon Snaps here. I'll be shocked if these are smaller because nine times out of 10 they're not. Yeah, look at that. Same size and everything. Same packaging. More sawdust though. Weird. Um, then we've got four packs of sparklers. You know, for only like eight, 10 bucks, I can't remember. It definitely was not more than $10. This isn't all that bad, you know, what are you doing? I mean, you're gonna have a bunch of kids on the 4th of July as well, and the adults can't have all the fun, so you gotta get the kids stuff like this, and then full-grown adults like me actually really enjoy this stuff, because it brings me back to when I was a kid, and this was all I had. So we've got a pack of white sparklers, we've got red sparklers, gold, and blue. Now, what would be really cool is if the sparklers burned those colors, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen. We're just gonna have to find out. Um, so yeah, that's all the fireworks I got for eight bucks at the local fireworks store the other day. And without any further ado, we're gonna take all this outside and shoot it off. All right, so we gotta test out these sparklers now and uh, see if they burn the color that's on the package. So we've got blue, gold, white, and red. Uh, let's start with blue. Now they put this label on the sparkler package as if it's gonna burn that color. And it might confuse some people, but... Oh, that does burn blue. It is actually burning blue. Can you focus on it or no? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen a colored sparkler. And it's burning a lot more aggressively than your typical, I guess, orange sparklers. That is so bizarre. I didn't even know that was a thing. Now let's test out the red one. It's really cold. It's like 20 degrees. So, freezing. All 
Alright, here goes red. Oh my oh, god. Man. No way. You guys probably think I'm an idiot because this has probably been a thing for years and I just didn't know about it. But that's definitely red. That's not your standard orange. Oh man, I'm shaking really good. Yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> it's pretty cold. <laughs> okay, now Welcome we just gotta. To Dakota. We gotta test out these white ones. This is probably gonna be really bright. Oh man, it's cold. Man, it's windy. All right, here goes a white one. Oh yeah. This looks like white. a bright sparkler, regular one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely burning white. They burn really fast too. I'm sure you guys can see that. All right, now we're gonna test these gold ones. This is the last color. And there you go. That's your typical sparkler color. Like this is what they always look like whenever you get them. So the gold color must be standard. I didn't know they had colored sparklers, guys. <laughs> It's really cool. Is it focusing on that? Yeah. So as you can see, this one's burning much slower. So in the last video, we took these poppets and ran them over with the pickup. Now we're gonna try that experiment again, but I'm wondering, how does a pack of these poppets hold up against a 357 Magnum? All right, so as you guys can see, the pack of poppets is right there see how it holds up. There's only one way to find out. All right, 357 Magnum versus Poppets in three, two, one. I smoked it. Let's look at the carnage. <laughs> All right, we blasted the pack of Poppets. I don't even um, see any. Well, as you can see, it was oh, set wait, up yeah. right here. So there's just poppets everywhere. All right, so that was pretty cool, but we got to try the truck experiment one more time. I feel like the last video just was not epic enough. So I'm gonna try to run that over perfectly with the tire and see if we can get all of them to go at once. All right, here we go. Nice, sounds like a little machine gun. All right, Michael, take a Magnum popper. Take a few steps back. Three, two, one. Oh my god, mine didn't work. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> hey, Cody. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> all right, now we're going to do all of these flash pods that came in the assortment right on the side of my pickup. So hopefully we can get some epic shots of the old Blue Beauty. Here we go. Yeah, these are bright. Oh my god. Look at that. The Cody B Mobile. Look at that beast. Nice. Those are bright, let me tell you. All right, let's do the rest of these sparklers and I mixed them all up. So hopefully we can pick out the colors. Oh my God, that's bright. So they all kind of went off at once. Um, that was even brighter than the flash pots. So let's see if we missed any. No, oh, it doesn't look like it. That's actually really cool. Look at what it did to the gravel. And this one's still going. That was a gold one. Put it from both sides. Nice. Okay, so let's do tank versus box fountain. Let's see what happens. Oh, tipped over right away. <laughs> it's not a bad little fountain though. So it doesn't actually look like these went off. So let's just see if we smack them with a torch, what'll happen. Yep, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, what is that? Nothing, just a fuse. Okay, so these are the rest of the items in the assortment. And let's see what happens if we light them all off at the same time.
Nice. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.